So I've been asked to show how to make a door opening scene in Animate. So first of all I've gone in and got some assets. What I've got here is a nice clean flat door. I've chosen one that doesn't have a handle because I'd rather just have the door swing back without the need to have extra detail such as handles and key locks. And I've downloaded that and imported it into Animate. And I've also chosen a generic wallpaper pattern. So having brought them into Animate, you can see here that if I turn some layers off, there's my wall that's just been brought in. You can see there it is in the library as a bitmap. And here's the original door that I brought in. Doors on the top layer. And in the case of this door, I have brought the bitmap in and I've gone modify bitmap trace bitmap and then erased the white frame from the outside. The other thing I've done to prep for this scene is to create a cavity. So that's simply a black shape that sits perfectly covering the door. To move on, the door will obviously sit on our top layer and if I use my selection tool you'll notice that the door is a symbol. So there is it as a symbol in the library. And as you know, it needs to be a symbol if we're going to animate it. So I'm going to draw out about 40 frames and I'm going to select the whole three layers, right click and insert frames. Now the wall is not changing, the opening is not changing, but the door is. So we right click and we create a motion tween just on that door layer. So now what we can do is use our free transform tool and I'll just go to frame 3. If I was to shrink the width of the door, that kind of looks like a door that is closing in on itself. So that effect might just do the trick. What we'll do, we are two frames in so I'm just going to open the door slightly and use the arrow keys to just nudge it back against the side of the cavity. Now the door's going to swing a little bit faster so I'm now seven frames along and I'm going to squeeze it in a little bit more and just nudge it against the side there. If we go back through our motion path you can see how the left side of the door doesn't move so we need to keep that illusion happening. Now let's just go straight out to 15, shrink the door almost down to a flat line, nudge it back into place and you'll see how the door is opening much more quickly. And now if we make it a little bit flatter here at frame 20, it's going to look like a door that has open fully and it's just resting in place there.